Hello friends. Welcome to my new Angular JS tutorial series video. Today, we will learn about Bootstrap CSS tables. Friends. In our previous tutorial we discussed about Bootstrap buttons. In this tutorial let's see how Bootstrap CSS tables looks like. For this tutorial, let's copy and paste bootstrap-buttons.html file, into site root folder. And rename it to bootstrap-table. Open the file. Provide a title to it as Bootstrap Tables. Let's clear all the contents from the div element. First let's create tables without Bootstrap CSS. Type table, and you can see HTML table palette in NetBeans menu. Just click on it. Insert table dialog box gets open. Let's create a table of three rows and three columns. Provide the values in dialog box. Click OK. A table structure gets generated. Under table element, we have T head and T body sub elements. T head element takes headings for three columns. Let's provide heading to table as index city and state and in the T body element. Let's provide names for three cities and three states as demonstrated. Let's run this file. You can see on browser, it has created a table having three records for city and states, without bootstrap CSS. Provide a border as, 1. Save the file. On the browser you can see table now has border around its elements. Moving ahead. Let's copy complete div element and paste it below. Now let's create tables with Bootstrap CSS. Let's remove the border. In order to create Bootstrap table, we have to provide a class attribute to table element. This class attribute will take in the name of Bootstrap CSS class. Thus, it will provide rendering to table through that class. For basic table, we will use table class of Bootstrap CSS. Save the file. And on the browser you can see basic table rendered in a better way. Moving ahead. Suppose we want to render first row with a warning color. We have to provide a class attribute to first tr element. This class attribute will take in the name of Bootstrap CSS class. For warning row, we will use warning class of Bootstrap CSS. Save the file. And on the browser you can see how first row gets rendered with a warning color. Similarly, Provide danger class to second row. And you can see on browser second row gets rendered in danger color. Similarly. Provide success class to third row. And you can see on browser third row gets rendered in success color. Moving ahead. Let's copy complete div element and paste it below, to see some more features of bootstrap table. Now first let's create a table with border. 
in order to provide a border to table. We have to use table-bordered class along with table class. Save the file. And on the browser you can see table gets rendered with a border. Similarly, table-stripped class will strip off the border, as demonstrated. Similarly, Table dash responsive class will make the table responsive to mobile and other small devices. Similarly, table dash condensed class will make the table shrink and take minimal space. On browser you can see space difference between both tables. Moving ahead. There is also bootstrap CSS class by name, table-hover. When it is used on a table, it gives a hover effect when mouse gets positioned over the table. On browser you can see, when I position mouse on table, it gives a hover effect. Thus, this tutorial was all about how Bootstrap CSS tables are rendered. In upcoming AngularJS tutorials, we will be using them frequently. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, Bootstrap CSS tables, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com